back to the Spider's Web. We're starting another new series on Talisman today where we're painting our Tavern Maid. She's of good alignment as you can see. She has long reddish hair with a red dress and yellow apron and sleeves with a brownish coloured bodice. Having a tray of drinks. Shall we get on with it? Why not? Let's just place the cat burglar card somewhere else and we can pop this up and use it for reference. Oh, we get our model. Here we go. Now. <coughs> <coughs> First off, we're going to be doing the skin tone, and we want something fairly pale. And for this, we're going to use, if I can find it, Kislev Flesh, which is this colour. We've used this one before on another character, but we're going to use it again. And this time we want a little bit more than we have been using because there's a little bit more flesh on show here. And it's not just the face. So, let's get cracking. <coughs> okay, we have... face and again not much detail in the face I'm hoping these are just but one off poor moulds but I've had quite a few that have been like this so um I wouldn't count on it don't expect brilliance the, the nice little gaming models, let's put it that way, that's you know, the ideal for the job that they are for. <coughs> the gaming models, that's it. So, we'll treat them as such. I'm not looking for award winning painting on these, but as I, I do like. I'm trying to do as good a job as I can with the models I'm painting these days. Um, they're still not award winning <laughs> I certainly wouldn't get anything if you had to them into a competition but they're perfectly acceptable for the purpose that I'm using them for which is playing pieces for games and that is all that's important because I don't enter competitions I'm not interested in entering competitions I'm interested in making my models good uh, I want them to, to look good when playing games that's all I'm interested in and as such the paint being painted to that standard um, I'm not saying that they are a poor standard, I'm just saying that I'm not doing them to a higher, a much higher standard. Not the fact that I'm painting them to the best of my ability. Let's put it that way, I'm trying to. I want a few coats of this because it's very watery paint, as you know. I, uh, I don't like applying it firmly thick. So that's that done. Next, what we're going to be using is. 
<coughs> what are we going to be using for this? I know what we're going to be using for this. Scrag Brown. We've used it before, as you may remember, in the previous couple of videos. Or previous couple of series, I think I've used this a little bit. But I think, no, I think the last time I used it was in the Tinker video. Scrag Brown. Just place all of that onto the. And we're going to be going over her, her. This is just the base coat. We will be doing other things with this. In time, just have to wait until this dries first. I just want to make sure I've got the nice brown. Um, a nice mid brown base to this. I don't want it very, very, very deep brown. I'm not doing it exactly the same as the, the picture of it. I'll try and get it as, as close enough as I can. Sorry, I'm concentrating again, as you can tell. <laughs> it's nice when you get a nice full head of her like this on a model that you can just let yourself go on. I'm just hoping I can do what I want to do and make it look right we'll soon find out next after this we're going to be going on to her dress which is going to be the red colour um, Next, as I said, we're going to be going into this dress of hers. It's going to be a reddish colour. And for this, I'm going to be using, surprisingly enough, not Wazdaka Red, but Evil Sun's Scarlet. I don't want it incredibly, incredibly bright, vivid, but yet dark red. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Evil Sun Scarlet. going to rinse my brush and I'm going to take some when I can find it where are you here we are Rhinox Hide <coughs> and this is going to be placed on the palette now I'm not going to be using all of this for the dress I'm just going to put a little bit there And I'm going to be adding a lot more red because I want it a dark, dark red colour. But the um, Wazdaka red is a little too vivid. The colour I need. And that looks about right. <clears throat> and this is, as I say, just for the base coat for the red. And I 
we're going to have to get some of the darker red in Games Workshop, I think. It might be an idea to do that. That way I have a darker red, is it corn red or something like that? I can't remember what colour this is, to be honest. I'm going to go into the... Oh, I'll just call it the gods. Caught around. I might. I shouldn't go over that later. And there we have. Does she have a? She does have a, a dagger in her belt. I thought it was. <laughs> just the. There's the holster. You can just. See the handle poking out, and there we go. I suppose really, I should try and get under the model and get underneath sorted out as well. But that's going to take a little bit more. Effort. I'm not doing a wonderful job at this underneath, it's just a case of getting it covered or as covered as possible. You're not going to see I'm going to see it all anyway. But I just like knowing it's been done. And you're at it's not been primed. Because I can't, couldn't get under there with a the primer. But there we have the base coats for her dress. Now, <coughs> the base coats for her. Um, call it that's realized something I've missed oh no she's wearing boots it's also she's wearing boots I'm just gonna go over the um, um here again because I did go I did catch it with the red was it the brown So I might as well give it all another coat. It needs it. So there. Next, the base coat for the <coughs> apron here, and the sleeves is going to be one of those really dark colours. And that dark, incredibly dark colour is going to be white to skin for that. Yeah, I'm going to stick with white scar. And we'll have quite a bit of this on here because. Well, that's basically I don't know what I'm going to be using, so I might as well get some on while it's here. Now this is going to change, remember, it's not going to be completely white. But this, as I say, is just the base colour. I'll be adding washes and other colours to this. So, let's see how we get on with it. Da, 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 da. There we go. 
make sure every word that is this colour gets covered. We do not want to miss any word because the colour we're going to be putting over this is going to be quite pale and we want it fairly well some areas of this colour is going to be quite pale and we want it fairly visible which is why we're using a lighter co light colour or the lightest colour we can for the base colour for this particular part like so and not to forget the sleeves I will be washing this before we start actually painting um, in fact the wash that I'm going to be using for this part is going to be the finished article it's not we're not going to be going any um what's the one we're not going to be doing anything else but there is the, the design on the apron which is going to be painted a different colour which means we're going to have to Um, that's what I'm looking for. We're going to have to think of another colour to use for doing that area. And I don't think we will have much difficulty in finding something to suit. Yeah, so that's the white done. We're going to need another coat of this before we can actually start thinking about um, washing. So that will probably be um, I was going to say then. So I'm going to have to probably put another coat of this on after this second coat that I'm putting on now has dried. I don't think we're going to be washing this in this part of the video. So let's do something else. Her bodice is going to be a brown colour and I would like it to be um, I'd like it to be rat skin flesh mixed with a little bit of um, rat skin flesh uh, mixed in with a little bit of the Uh, um, Rhinox Hide. Want a bit more water. Fully dark. Spot of red in there as well, I think. Be a nice idea. And just a little bit of white. And if we wanted to grey it a little bit, we'll put a bit of blue in, but I want to grey it. I was thinking of it, but... I thought against it. Right, in fact, I'm actually thinking... We're bringing a little bit of blue into it, actually. It's not... looking how I wanted it to look so I'm going to continue with this colour
for the time being but it isn't going to stay this colour it's going to be completely different and we're going to have a nice leather pouch or leather sheath for her dagger a leather pouch for her money I would assume tips, change, whatever a leather strap there And I'll do her boots in the same colour. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of blue into this, a very dark blue. Um, this is looking a little dull at the moment, but don't worry, we will be brightening it up. We will be brightening her up. This is, as I said, just the base coats we're doing. Always do the base coats one colour and then work towards brightening it, don't we? So, the colour that I'm going to be bringing in to dull it down, grey it up, is Cantor Blue. I'm just going to add a little at a time just to see how we go with it. Grade it a little too much, I'm afraid. So let's add some more of the brown, more of the rat skin flesh. Spots of that as well. That is very much like the colour I wanted. So let us go and apply this now it's much better for what I want. This is just for the bodice, I'm not bothered about anywhere with that anywhere else. Um, the other areas we painted in the previous colour we're going to leave as is. And so I just wanted the bodice to be a possibly could have painted it dry and back, but never mind. <laughs> never mind at all. So that's that. In fact, I just noticed something else as well. We have some. Bit's going down around from the dress. Uh, trying to see what it would be on this side. Yep, still there. I just can't tell terribly well where it is on this side, I'm afraid. So I'm just going to do that. Now, that's that done. What I'm going to do now is make a start on metallic areas. So, the first metallic area we're going to be doing is using Warplock Bronze, and that's going to be the tray. In fact, I think that's the only metallic, in fact, it's not the only metallic. It's the biggest metallic, is what I was going to say. We've got a nice big metal tray here. And 
and I've learned that metallic colours are quite um, what's the word I'm looking for? Quite watery. So I've stopped putting the metallics on the um, wet palettes, and instead I'm just going straight from the pot with them. There we are. The thing I do not have any idea is how I would paint the the drinks, the canisters on the drinks. I suppose we we'll just do them. That's what points is. that and then add a little bit of silver to the highlight. It's a, it's a thought. I don't know. I don't know. I really, really don't know. I'll come back to that when I finish. <laughs> so let's have a look shall we. The apron is all but dry so I'm going to go over this once again but I don't want to be putting too much around the raised areas of this design let's try my best to keep it from bubbling up around there or building up around there should I say I shouldn't be too bad when this dries now. I can hopefully then make a start on the uh, washes. But first of all, I want to just touch up her dress at the bottom here. Edges like so. Or else, there's a little bit under there. I'm not really too bothered about that. I'm just going to go. Okay, so that's all I can find so far to do. So, let us make a start on washes. Okay, for the first wash we are going to be using Reitland Flesh Shade. In fact, no we're not. I'll change my mind because Reitland Flesh Shade is the one I want to use last, to be honest. This is the first one we're going to be using, Carolberg Crimson. Which will be going on her... Her? So, the next one is going to be the first wash that I apply to her hair. The next wash is going to be a different colour. So that's wash number one applied. In fact, I don't think I will. I think I'll do 
another wash of this Carolberg Crimson. Let's see how it looks when it dries. Why have I fastened that? Because I want to use it somewhere else. And I'm going to be using it as well over her dress. Because I want her dress. Let's go over that. All the leather areas as well. I want her dress to look red. I want the leather to look a reddish colour. There we go. I'm watching where it's pooling, I do not want it building up too much. I am going to apply another colour of wash to the hair, I think. I'm not going to waste until it dries either. I'm going to apply a wash of when I can find it. Not that one. It will be that one. Old Faithful Agrax Earthshade. That's the one that's going to be applied to her bodice. So, and her hair to really darken it. Okay, that's And finally, the Reichland Flesh Shade, which is this colour. Once we've done this, we're going to have to leave it to dry, so don't. Um, I'm not really too worried about it yet. But this Reikon Flesh Shade is going to be going over hmm. the skin and all the white areas. I'm trying my best not to let the other colours run into this. There will be another colour over the white, I think. I don't like the, um, the reddish effect of this. Like more flash red. I think I should have 
bought like a creamy coloured wash as well but I didn't so there will be another colour going over that once it's dried but as always have to wait until it's dried before I can do anything more okay so that's all I can do so once it dries come back and see where we stand okay see you in a bit